Also, the government that they are there to sponsor, it's even as much as I'm not even happy with um, government sponsor putting their hand in sport. But um, that is where we find ourselves. For Rivers United, they need to go for big players. They need to go for players that has the mentality of playing in the CAF Champions League, not um, the mentality of playing in the uh, Nigeria terrain. Because I remember what happened to us in the last day when we went to play um, Sefasin at the um, yes. Exactly. So we, we need a lot of experienced players too to come help Rivers United. We want to win the CAF Champions League. Although someone will say that the, the last time Emba won the CAF Champions League was because they, they played and um, they did not go to inquire players for playing outside of Nigeria. Yes, but you check the distance. They, check had, the they had been the Noah players for that Emba team. Exactly. If you check the time and also um, they have a couple of players who have played with themselves for some time. Rivers United. If you check the players, that, the set of players that fight for them to win the, the Nigeria Professional Football League, most of them are still going. Um, some people say looking for greener pasture. By the way, I is that looking to play in the Spanish, the Turkish league, uh, in the Cameroonian league? Is that greener pasture? That's a question for another day. But uh, let me ask you one question. Uh, Nelson Nassau went to Simba, and uh, I don't want to talk about the figures, but I know I know a lot about that deal. Good deal for him. As far as I'm concerned, it's a good deal because Simba is a big club. They bought Peter Musumani yesterday to the arrivals, young and young Africans to launch up their Simba day. The Tanzanian Premier League is booming. People are complaining that why are Nigerian players moving from Nigerian Premier League to Tanzania or to these other West African countries. But the truth is that the, 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 look at Nigerian Premier League and you look at the Tanzanian Premier League. Which one is better? Um, just like using um, Ferrari to compare with uh, the Trump. That is the difference. Sad to see. Sorry, I'm sorry to see that, but that's just the truth. That's the reality. The Nigerian League is just like a truck. You see this big truck and um, why the Tanzania League is a Ferrari. You see the fastness, it cannot compare. So, uh, the Ladaboso and um, those holding um, Show Diko, Rada, Show Diko, um, the so, chairman of the Nigeria. What's the problem? Because um, We have a lot of problems. We have a lot of problems. It's either we go with 10 teams that are playing the Nigeria National Football League. Just 10 teams, 10 teams that knows how to handle teams. If you ask yourself, how many teams in the Nigeria National Football League that has a bit a well organized B team? One, how many of the Nigeria National Football League that has a well arranged um, team, uh, 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 a stadium? Two, and also being governed. If there's okay. a lot of things happening in the Nigeria National League, Simba got a deal for a sponsorship deal worth 10 million dollars. Um, I'm not sure any Nigerian club has gotten the sponsorship. I shall talk about Kotoko too. They have a deal um, with one of the biggest brands in the world. So, what is really happening? Rivers United, yes, they have Unicel. They have Unicel. Yes, Unicel. And we even have more that deal. Unicel deal can't compare to what you have from Simba. Exactly. And Unicel will just go with uh, giving them a kitty. Yes, uh, they give them some cars. What, but what, what, what have the Unicel done for the Rivers United team? And also, what picture has done? Not even. The deal, the deal for the team. No, but the Unicel deal is not bad. Exactly. Because I think I have details yes. of that. Yeah, but, you know, my, my point is, the league itself needs to grow more than what we've seen. Here. It's just like it's the league, instead of the league to grow up, the league is going down. All I want to what we've seen before. And today we hear that a um, referee beat this, a referee beat that. So, so what happened? The issue of Cano Pillars, too. Sad to say, Cano Pillars, um, they had some little issues, not little big issues. At the start of the season, they, they beat the referee. The Can I ask you season, one question? What role can live broadcast of matches? What can it do for Nigeria football? If we begin to show our matches, mostly it will help. So it will help. Um, it will help to prevent radicalism in the league and also to sell some of our players and also to sell the league. It will make some top brands to come put their hand in sports. I was watching the English Premier League yesterday. The game involving Arsenal. English Premier League used to be given. No, no, Ghanaian Ghanaian Premier I'm, League. I'm, I'm watching the game English, English Premier League and. Um, and the Arsenal and Crystal Palace game yesterday, I was seeing the top brand, I won't call their name by the way, I will see the top brand among the sponsors, and when they, whenever they want to go, during the course of the game, you see the little... Nigerian like, companies sponsoring, exactly, sponsoring uh, Premier what's happening? League. But why can't they put that money inside our sport? The one of the issues is that, if you put it, you have to put your this, money where you gain. The Premier, the Nigerian Football League is not even on TV, so why, why are you going to put your money in? So, maybe it's time for us to change all those in the Nigerian Nigeria Football League. From Shell Dico to the rest, they should just leave it and let a new brand of all set of people take over Nigeria national football. Because that's a radical what is, is because it's the same thing. It's just like we turn it around around the circle. We still want them to change the thing. Why we are still the same same people there? If you check what is happening in Nigeria national football, the issue with Kano Pillars have taught us a lesson. It shows that they don't want to make our league to grow. This same Kano Pillars. They, they, they beat the referee at the start of the season. But, we banned but, but, that, but that, the, the chairman, reason why Kano Pillars is no, the, relegated... No, the point, I'm, the point I'm trying to make is that the chairman of um, Kano Pillars, he came up, 
He slapped, not allegedly, this one is from camera. I think he I saw that slapped, video. He slapped the center referee, the ARU2. And LMC, we are the one fighting for them in the NFF. So why can't you leave the team in? The team in question to go fight for themselves. Why is it that LMC they are fighting for a team in the Nigerian Professional Football League? Why are you talking about why are you talking about Nigeria Football Federation? Because the, the, the case went to the Nigerian Football Federation for them to decide. So LMC, we are still fighting for the LMC for, for so it shows so was that, LMC really fighting. You know, yes, they're the one well, they were only they're trying the, to make a yeah, case defend. Why will you make a case? Why can't you let them go? Because these people, if you make a case with them, it simply means that you are backing them just like your son states something. And then not about your son states something. This thing that makes that painting the um, the league in the bad in the bad in the bad in the world. How many times have you seen um the FA the EPLFA and want to fight for Crystal Palace or want to fight for Manchester United? If I remember when Eric Cantona he kicked one of the player one of their fans yes. in the English Premier League. Yes, yes. None of the the Manchester United fans or Manchester United owner or even the English Premier League want to back him. They get him out there. Go and face your, your so yourself. why can't the Nigeria professional football league do the same thing? Maybe until the rotting to the school at the mark must learn to change the caution. All right, um, thank you very much. Football League is, uh, Nigerian Football League will be resuming very soon. So um, we, we'll talk about MPFL much more on this program. But um, also, we'll move back to Germany because Reb Robert Lewandowski has gone to Bayern Munich. Uh, sorry, has gone to Barcelona. Um, let's take a look at how he was unveiled. I 